know, I have to be honest. I am not a morning person. It is 6.30 or it's about 6.30 in the morning. Now, going to Houston, Texas, I have to go support Oklahoma City versus the Houston Rockets. This is the biggest game of the season. I am a huge Russell Westbrook fan. A uh, huge Oklahoma City fan, have been for years. I couldn't imagine having a job that required me to be up at this time every day. Like, I'm not ready to deal with customers at 6.30 in the morning. Dina, she be effing at the two. <laughs> she don't want to be up right now. I'm not quite sure what voice this is that I'm using, I but. Don't Ooh, look at that glow on you. All right, never mind. Take it away. Okay. Ooh, look at that glow on you. We talk street art, sarcasm. Crass humor in high fashion. Peach color moon glisters the black thickness. I'm pretty excited to be going to this game because Oklahoma City. Let me tell you about Oklahoma City. It's a team that I've loved since Kevin Durant was there. Kevin Durant. You had Kevin Durant. Russell Westbrook, yeah, James Harden, Serge Ibaka. I just feel like Russell Westbrook's mentality is like my mentality towards life. Like I just want to attack life. I want to I want to take opportunity. I don't want to wait for you know someone to hand me something. I want to I want to get it the hard way. I want to get it out the mud. I want to work for it. I want to grind. I want to I want to put the team on my back. You know, like, I want to be dependable. I want to be, uh, you know, that superstar in people's lives. Like, I want people to know, hey, he's a good worker. He's a good friend. He's a good whatever the label is. I just want people to know I go as hard as I can. So any athletes that embrace that mentality of I got to go hard, I got I to gotta give it everything I have, I got to make sure the fans enjoy, you know, their 100 or $200 ticket, I embrace that. What are my expectations for tonight? I'll be honest. My expectations are to just have a good time. Like, obviously, I want them to win. But uh, if they don't win, I won't be pissed. Only because, you know, none of these guys are paying my bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? None of these guys are paying my bills, man. I'm just, I'm just a fan. And... drinks so we just been talking we've been talking about our careers and life and now I'm currently at the Houston Rockets game let me tell you Oklahoma City has to win this game if Houston wins I'm gonna I'm probably gonna cry I'm just letting you know I'm probably gonna cry uh, you'll probably see real tears from me We got the W, we got the victory, we got the win, Oklahoma City in this thing. See, sometimes in life things change, and uh, when things change in your life, you have to be willing to let go. You have to be willing to embrace new phases of your life, new opportunity, new moments, new you. Sometimes you just have to embrace a new you, a new look, a new way of thinking, a new way of behaving, a new job, new friends. Maybe, maybe you need to live in a new place. Don't get stuck in the same old, same old and call that growth. That's not growth. Sometimes you just have to let go and find that new you.
So I decided about four minutes ago that I was gonna start vlogging. I feel like I'd be a good vlogger, but let me tell you why. I'm funny, I'm funny looking. A lot of stuff happens to me and I do a lot of stuff. And I'm with other people a lot, a, a lot of interest in people. So that's why I think I'd be a good vlogger. So I guess I gotta see if I can stay consistent. You're so far away. I gotta see if I can stay consistent because that'll be my biggest struggle. We'll see what I come up with. But I will not be, I will not be vlogging every day, just often. That's it. And we are gone. It was dope.